sports were easy, everyone would do them. We are attempting to break the outright electric world speed record. The current record is 76.8 miles an hour. I personally still hold around 15 or 16 world speed records. It's all about setup, it's all about preparation and a few minutes of exhilaration and excitement. Coniston Water is the premier location for high speed water attempts. We're here to do something new because it's the first one where we put a HV uh, battery into, into a boat. And to do that, we uh, use all our knowledge from uh, Formula E and put this knowledge and this technology into a boat. This is a world record attempt, so we are pushing the boundaries of the technology and uh, indeed of the maritime industry. Oh, we have it or not? Not yet, we're 0.2 of a mile off. 0.2. But the return yeah. downwind yeah. was much faster than the upwind. We know that we can push harder. We go with the same setup again. We, no, no. We, we change something. Maximum torque all the way. All the way? Yes. Yeah. You yeah. control okay. what is pushing you. Yeah. Okay. So translated from the French, if it breaks, it's my fault. Whenever you get in a boat where you're trying to travel fast and closer to the edge than most people's comfort zone would allow, there is always an element of trepidation. There's always an element of what might go wrong. Can you just confirm on station, course clear, over. The water surface is not, you cannot control it. And you can have a, a wind changing, you can have a current. This is Vector, please confirm we're good to go. One small mistake and the whole project is, is compromised. Peter's on his way at all stations. Uh, ready to sound, please. And potentially people get hurt. delighted with the performance of, of the boat and I think the potential to take the bar much higher is, is, is now established. It doesn't matter how many records you've broken, any record you get is a huge achievement. They're all just as important. Yes, that's done. <laughs>